Okay, so well, I'll explain what the demo is that we're showcasing here. Um, what we have is a series of resins that range from, in this case, a material, a recycled material that's at 14 melt flow index. So this would be a relatively harder material to flow, we'll say. Um, here we have a 25, here we have a 20, and here we have a 60 melt flow uh, material. And so what we're, what we're trying to show here is that uh, the technology that we're going to show on the machine the auto viscosity adjust feature from Influx is going to be able to adapt to whatever blend of these materials I feed the machine. It'll automatically compensate for that material variation as it comes through the machine um, and make a perfect part. So no matter what I feed the machine, I'm going to make a perfect part, whether it's 14 melt material or 60 melt material. So um, anyone that comes to the booth can actually mix their own blend. So I'll, I'll make a blend. So you know, maybe I'll take a little bit of the, uh, the 14 melt material. Um, maybe I'll take a little bit of the, of the 60 melt material, just so I have very different uh, materials that are going to form this, the part that we'll make. Um, and then I'll, uh, I'll, make, I'll make the part, I'll color it. So in essence, what I've got now is roughly a 50-50 blend of uh, the 60 melt material, the 14 melt material, and some colorant in there to make a nice pretty uh, part when it comes out the other end. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to Brandon Birchmeyer, who's our uh, director of engineering. So what we're going to do here is we're going to suck that material up into the machine, and it's just going to go right on top of whatever else was running in there before it. And ultimately, it's going to come out here on the other side as, as a part here in a few minutes. So here on this side of the machine, what you can see is we've got a, a mold running uh, for the part. Uh, it's a crinkle bag is what we refer to the part as. It's a simple molded part. Um, you'll, see the, you'll see the part come out of the mold here momentarily. So here we're running a red part. Um, and what's occurring, as you, as you saw a moment ago, is we're feeding a variety of materials through the machine, uh, and the machine is automatically compensating for whatever that material is that's coming through the barrel. Um, and so uh, what, what we'll see here uh, is, is the actual uh, pressure curve that's generating uh, the part, and what we'll see is that pressure curve will adjust here you see it's running at about 1.67% uh, below its nominal set point. Um, and that's because the viscosity is slightly lower uh, than where, whatever the nominal viscosity was um, when, this, when this particular feature was, was established. Um, and so you'll see that each shot, that will move around a little bit because we're feeding the, the material in. It has very different viscosity, so that's going to move with the material as it changes. So what you see here is a little bit different view of, of what's happening in the machine. Um, and so here what we're, you're seeing in the blue, um, that is the material viscosity. So think of that as the melt flow index of the material that we're measuring and actually reporting in real time. So as that material is coming through the machine, we're seeing a real indication of what the melt flow index is of that material. You can also see here in the green you can see how the process is automatically adjusting, automatically adapting to that change in the material as it's occurring. Because ultimately, to make a consistent part, my process has to make an adjustment to make a good part on the other side of the machine. So I don't want shorts, I don't want flash, I want good consistent dimensions. That's what's happening with this adjustment that's happening on the green curve that you see here. So why is this all important? It, it's important because uh, as we move to post-consumer recycled materials, those materials are highly variable. And as they vary, you need technology like this to be able to adjust and adapt to those changes as they occur so you continue to make good parts. Another cool uh, feature of what you're seeing here is this is all real-time data that is really not available on any other system. You're getting a, every millisecond, you're getting an indication of what the melt flow index is of that material. That data can be used here at the machine or it can be 
in this case, used by Militron's empowered system for data analytics and other understanding um, that can be useful to the, the material supplier, it can be used to diagnose and troubleshoot any issues that you see uh, while you're producing. Um, and so, highly valuable data in real time.